Hello YouTube, this is Assassinator17 and today I'm going to be showing you how to use batch files, how to make batch files, you know, just batch files in general. Now, batch files will always have this logo, this cog shaped logo, this is Vistar, so maybe it's a different logo on XP or some other system you use, but always this cog logo, hover over it, it will say Windows batch file. Um, Another thing, it will always have this BAT extension that's down here. BAT. If it doesn't have that, it's not a bat. It probably might just be an executable file. Even if you don't realize that it says in that little pop up, Windows batch file, doesn't have bat on the end, it's not a batch file. Now, the way these work are pre prepared instructions that the command prompt uses. And it uses these by reading one command after another on each line so you'd have like one instruction to tell it then another then another this is like the easiest and most basic programming you'll ever learn how to do because it was so simple but it is pretty powerful now the thing you're going to only be using for this is notepad some people may prefer notepad plus plus which is that's all right but for if you just want to do some basic stuff then notepad is what you want if in the exceptional case that you do not know what notepad is I'm going to show you notepad is this this is notepad it says notepad this is notepad anyway you would write your commands there now um, batch files are extremely dangerous because of how fast they work there's this file here danger.bat and um, it creates files as you saw how to do in my previous video but because of because it's so rapid works so fast it creates loads of them let me show you we have like a flashing box I'll leave it running for like five seconds five four three two one and I'll just exit that and look how many files pop up wait for it here we go oh look at this there's loads of them. There is an entire load. In fact, wait there. Let's just find out exactly how many there are. I'll delete them all. Because it makes them so fast. You saw it was only running for something like what? Five seconds? Maybe seven seconds at the most? Look how long it's taken. Oh, you can't see the scroll bar, but it's taken ages to go up. There's just loads of them. And these are only 1kb in size. You know, you could have text files, but these are just files with no extension. I mean, there's so many of them, such rapid progression, that this can decimate almost anything. God, it's taken a while. It's still going up. It's only like halfway up. I'll be, I'll be showing you how to use some um, useful commands in batch files because uh, you're going to want to know the basics before I show you the more advanced stuff like if statements and loops I'll show you those later but first I'll be showing you how to use um, all the basic commands that are kind of helpful but only really helpful in a really weird way still going up look at this it's amazing how fast it's gone didn't even think about it just all these files just popped out of it at that it's nearly at the top now it's taking it all this time good oh no it's still going up we're nearly at the top sorry it's taken so long jeez pathetic scrolling aha we've reached the top now to find out how many we've actually got hit delete there is 1,208 files. It made 1,208 files in a matter of seconds. And it's taken longer than it took to delete it. Incredible. That's that's a lot. Anyway, now I'm going to be showing... Oh, there's still one. 1,209. Now I'm going to be showing you some really basic commands you can use. First of all, you're going to want to have Notepad up. Now, good commands you're going to want to know. The first one, this is really important because it's really helpful. It's at echo off. Now, 
this turns off all um, the background stuff. So normally when you're working, it would like have the prompt. It hides that, and it only shows up what you what you type echo in front of. And now we'll say something like echo hello world. Now this will tell it to send the message hello world, and hello world will come up in your little command prompt. Um, and then we'll just have pause as our beginning one. And just as you saw, file save as. This is how you do it. We let me just find my folder. There we go. We name it as a batch file. So let's just see tester dot bat, and then save type as all files. This is why it's so powerful because there's so many. Right then, save that, and then minimize that, and it should be here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Look, let's just run that now. As you can see, command prompt comes up, hello world, and this is what the pause command does. Press any key to continue, and if there's nothing below that, it will just exit. Look, I'm just going to hit enter, and it goes. Simple as. Um, yeah, you knew some commands from um, a while ago, but I'm just going to show you how to create a loop now. This is pretty helpful. Again, with that echo off. Or actually, I'll show you what it's not like. It's like with echo on. And just leave it blank and it's echo on. We'll show you what that's like. We will have um, you put semicolon and start. Then you would have echo hello world pause. And then you would have go to start. So beginning of the loop, end of the loop. We're going to see uh, this will just carry on going, this bit in the middle here. Until I, you know, exit or whatever. I save that as we'll make make it test it too. And we'll just see how this goes. Right, test it too. You see, look, without echo off, you get all of this prompt here, and it really spoils the look if you're going for a really menu type look. Echo hello world, and then you still get the message down there as well. And then press any key to continue. Press loads of it. You see that. This is the loop. This is the loop happening. Anyway, that's just about it for this video. I will be showing some more complicated tricks later on, such as environment variables, if statements, stuff like that. This is where it gets to, you know, average, moderate level. Um, that's about it. Goodbye.